Okay, well, you're going to have to click that more info section, um, you know, over that way for the original link. But um, Brad Johnson did a, a, a really awesome video explaining, um, you know, resource-based economics and moving into, you know, a better way of doing things. And um, there is one part of it, however, that um, I saw not a flaw in the logic, but a flaw in the explanation where most people would be kind of confused. And I knew the snag would be hit um, sooner rather than later. And in a post that I'm actually in the middle of right now um, on the Atlas Initiative group, I'm sorry about me looking up and all over the place, but um, the, the monitors behind the camera, um, atlasinitiativegroup.org. Um, and uh, this person, this... Um, this uh, young lady with a business degree, going by the alias of Nyatiri, I think is how you pronounce that. I have not seen the movie Avatar yet. I, I've heard it like totally rocks. But yeah, anyway, um, she says, and I quote, okay, here's where I hit a snag. Do away with marriage and family? How would men and women live together? How would children be raised? What are we talking about? Matrix like polygamy and the entire village raising each child? Overall, a good question, or uh, excuse me, overall, a good video almost has me convinced. Okay. Well, this is my reply to her. I was actually going to make this video anyway, addressing this, and, um, you know, pretty much entitling it about a, a detachment, because that's, um, that's the key concept here um, detachment versus. Uh, the bastardization of the term done by the word magic. So this actually is cool because I was originally just going to rant in front of the camera and say whatever comes to mind, but actually, you know, typing this out in front of me, I can just like read it and it makes my thoughts more organized. So, all right, cool. Well, my reply is this. I understand your concern and I was afraid that aspect of the video might generate such a reaction. I understand what he means, but I too felt he was not as clear as he could have been. I was actually planning on making a video to clarify that section. He's not saying we should abandon family or marriage or anything like that. He's talking about detachment, which is a word that has been fucked with by word magic in the mainstream. To detach or let go does not mean to give up or abandon. It means that if you trust and have faith, there is no need to be fearful, possessive, jealous, obsessive, insecure, and clingy. <clears throat> For example, you trust that tomorrow that the sun will rise, so you are detached from the sunrise. This does not mean that you are ignoring the sun, denying the sun, avoiding the sun, dismissing the sun, or refusing to step out into its light. It means you're not worried about whether or not the sun will rise, how it will rise, or exactly when it will rise. Can you imagine a world where everyone was as, you know, unsure as to whether or not the sun would rise? <laughs> There'd just be total chaos and conflict and destruction, and even more so than there is now. Because everyone would be in fear that the end of the world was quite literally going to be tomorrow, and they would fear this every single day with intense passion. So. Then, there would be those who, you know, would be fearless about it, <laughs> but in a bad way. And, and they'd be like, oh, well, you know, if the world is probably going to end tomorrow anyways, then I can steal, murder, and, you know, do anything, because it, it doesn't matter what I do in this life. If you detach yourself from your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, son, daughter, uh, mother, father, friends, or anyone you care about, it means you trust them, so you are not trying to control them, nor are you allowing them to control you. Instead, you are teaching them, and they're teaching you. You are being supportive of them, and they are being supportive of you. You are teaching them to protect themselves, and they are teaching you how to protect yourself. Fear turns to love, jealousy turns to respect and trust, drama turns to clear communication. Governing turns into mentoring, guiding, and friendship. Conflict turns into cooperation. Insecurity turns into self-confidence. You become free, and you begin to free those around you, at least those willing to abandon fear and suffering in favor of happiness and living their lives to the fullest. Now, 
goals actually set you back because they create walls. Instead, simply set yourself up a task and detach yourself from that task. Trust that you have the ability to do what you are wanting to do. Trust that if you don't know how to accomplish it, you soon will be able to find out. Trust that if you do not have the people and tools you need, that you will find them. Because patience recognizes that all things come in due time, whereas impatience is the demand of ego to have everything done right now. You know, it's the part that McDonald's makes a lot of money on. Um, do not worry about what will happen, how, why, who, etc., 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 what will get you there, or any of that. Keep your eye on the ball, as they say. Know what you want to do. Trust that you can and will do it. Because when we what-if ourselves to death and attach ourselves to these things we call goals, what we are actually focusing on is our insecurities. What if someone does it before me? What if someone can do it better than me? What if someone tries to stop me? What if I can't learn what I need to know? What if I can't obtain the tools I need? What if I can't find the people I need to assist me with this? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? What is the marital status of the number five? What are the political orientations of a tuna fish sandwich? It's all irrelevant. If you focus on worry, you get nothing done. So this is what Brad was talking about. If we start treating everyone like a friend instead of like property and resources, then we all start to share with each other and help each other as opposed to the whole, I gotta screw the other guy before they screw me sort of mentality.